Then let's think about uh, the structure aspect a little bit. We know the iron has two crystal structure, two common. One is so called uh, BCC, one is FCC. BCC is actually the low temperature alpha phase. The FCC would be the intermediate temperature gamma phase. And they would have different packing density, relative packing density. Which one packs denser? The FCC, the atoms at FCC packs denser. It has a higher packing density of 74% versus the BCC, which is only 68%. Okay? And people say, okay, you probably heard of the concept of interstitial atom size. What's the so called largest tetrahedral opening versus the largest octahedral opening to the host atom? They would have different ratios. Okay? for both BCC and for FCC. Tetrahedral opening means, okay, in that opening, the atom would touch how many atoms? Tetrahedral means four atoms. Octahedral opening means it's touching how many? Eight atoms. And interestingly, people find this, okay, despite, despite in the BCC structure, in the BCC structure, in alpha ion, the opening to the host, the ratio is very, very small, which means you cannot put a, you can really not put a atom into the uh, octahedral site for the BCC, but that's actually the preferred site for carbon to stay. Even though it's small opening, carbon wants to stay there. Carbon wants to be bonded with what? More iron atoms, okay? It wants to stay there. So if we are looking at the the, the unit cell for the so-called BCC, as we illustrate, BCC body center, which means eight corner plus one in the center, right? That's our so-called body center. And if we look at the actual geometry on the right, if we actually think, okay, what's the size of the carbon atom versus what's the size of the iron atom, we would have something on the right, which means what? The carbon really has to push the iron up and down to accommodate the carbon to be at the so-called octahedral side. This is where I said octahedral side. For carbon, in order for carbon to be fitting there, the that carbon really has to push the iron atoms a lot. And because of this great push, this so-called a very large lattice torsion, if you have to imagine the solubility of carbon in BCC ion is high or low? High or low? Low because the carbon really has to push everybody around so much, which means the BCC ion cannot accommodate a lot of carbon, okay? And in reality, what people find is, okay, depending on temperature, at 700, the BCC ion can only handle 0 0.02 weight percent of iron. Not a high number, 0.02 percent weight of carbon. At the room temperature, at room temperature, the, the carbon solubility ion is so low. It's like 0 0.001 weight percent of iron. Really, really low. Because what? because of this huge distortion of the lattice. The BCC really cannot accommodate much, many carbon atoms in it. Which means on the equilibrium condition, where should that carbon go? The carbon should bond with that actual iron to form the so-called iron 3C, which is cementite. Under what condition? Quote unquote equilibrium condition. But on the other hand, if we don't give it enough time, if we don't give it enough time, like when we were doing the quenching, we don't allow the carbon atom to diffuse, to rearrange, to form the iron 3 carbon, we are going to do what? So called a froze in, freeze in the carbon in its whatever its location which is randomly distributed within the initial FCC structure. Okay? Randomly distributed within the actual 
structure, but that will go, the entire structure will go from the FCC structure into the so-called BCT structure, body-centered tetragonal, which is the structure for the so-called alpha prime phase. Of a prime phase. What here we are showing the change in lattice parameter versus concentration of carbon for different concentration. If it's FCC, which is a uh, austenite, illustrated here, we have the lattice parameter increase much higher. Okay, the more carbon, the higher lattice parameter. Make sense? The more carbon the higher the lattice parameter because the carbon is going to push everything around a little bit okay but then if the carbon concentration is the same but then we go quickly from high temperature austenite to low temperature without the phase transformation the eutectoid transformation then we are going to go into the so-called bct structure body centered tetragonal we are going to have a difference between the A, the base, versus the C, which is the tetragonal structure, which is the taller, the longer side of the tetragonal structure. And this difference gets larger and larger when the carbon concentration becomes higher and higher, which means when the carbon concentration is zero, when the carbon concentration is zero, do I have supersaturation of carbon? No, I don't need supersaturation carbon because there's no carbon. Then I would just go back the C and A equal for a tetragonal structure. If the C and A are equal, what is that structure? It's cubic, right? If a tetragonal, the C becomes the same as the base A, then it becomes cubic. That's what you understand, right? But then as we deviate away, if we have more and more carbon, the C would be a little bit uh, longer just a little bit longer than the A. That's what people call body-centered tetragonal. Okay, it's related to cubic, but not exact. How not exact? Depending on the carbon concentration. Okay, and because of this loss, the symmetry, you see from cubic to tetragonal, the C to A ratio gets higher. And because of this so-called lost tetra lost symmetry, the dislocation motion become more and more difficult. And because the more and more difficult dislocation, the material become what? Softer or harder? Harder, because the easier the dislocation moves, the softer the material is. But if you lose touch, if you start to lose so-called symmetry, the dislocation cannot go from one direction to the other, cannot uh, go very well, then the material would of course become harder and also stronger, higher yield strength, higher tensile strength.